What does the Bible say about tattoos? It's time to unlearn the lies. Hey, welcome to Unlearn. My name is Lex, and I'd like to invite you to join us each week as we unlearn the lies and dig deeper into the truth of God's Word. Now let's get started. I'm making this video because I've received a lot of questions from people asking what the Bible says about tattoos. Before I get started, I want to let you know that I have a tattoo. I got it years ago when I was young, but I don't want to let that affect my understanding about this subject. And if you have a tattoo, I hope you won't let that affect your reading of Scripture either. I want to take an honest look at what the Bible says about this topic, and I hope it brings clarity for you. Tattoos have been around for thousands of years. Ancient cultures used tattoos for various reasons. Some cultures tattooed their slaves to identify them. Others placed tattoos on military soldiers, and in some cultures, prostitutes wore them. Tattoos have been associated with pagan worship, witchcraft, pirates, criminals, and biker gangs. But today, tattoos have become a form of personal expression. People place artistic works on their body simply for decoration. It's no longer taboo because of its association with crime, slavery, and idolatry. People of every age, race, gender, and religion are getting tattoos. But is it okay for us as believers in Messiah to get tattoos on our body? For nearly 2,000 years, Christians have been opposed to tattoos. Yet many Christians today have tattoos and think nothing of them. Some even argue their tattoos are a witnessing tool that helps them seem more approachable and less judgmental. They also say tattoos can help unbelievers identify with Christians and make them feel more welcome. I used to think that way as well, but the Bible tells us to be set apart from the world, not conform to it. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We shouldn't seek to conform to the world by getting tattoos. Yeshua never told us to look like the world or act like the world. He told us to be in the world, but not of it. Numerous times in the Bible, we are told to be set apart from the world. Likewise, James tells us this type of worldliness is enmity with God. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. The Bible tells us explicitly not to get tattoos on our body. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor tattoo any marks on you. I am the Lord. The practice of cutting yourself and getting tattoos came from the pagans. We see in 1 Kings that people would often cut themselves in their worship of Baal. So they cried aloud and cut themselves, as was their custom, with knives and lances, until the blood gushed out of them. We also see in the Gospels that a demon-possessed man practiced cutting himself. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. Some may argue that we are just forbidden from getting tattoos in memory of the dead, but other tattoos are okay. We need to remember that historically, both Jews and Christians have been opposed to all forms of tattoos because of the verse in Leviticus 19. Understanding this to be a universal prohibition against tattoos of any kind, both Jews and Christians saw tattoos as a pagan ritual that God's people should avoid. The Jewish rabbis teach that tattoos are prohibited in the Torah because the pagans would get them and God's people are not to be like the pagans. We also know from studying ancient cultures that tattooing was common among certain religious groups, including those of Egypt, Babylon, and Syria, the areas surrounding and opposing Israel. Getting tattoos was a common practice in the ancient Near East as a way of worshiping pagan gods. Tattoos were associated with Egypt and other pagan cultures, and God said not to be like those nations. Take heed to yourself that you are not enslaved to follow them after they are destroyed from before you, and that you do not inquire after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? I also will do likewise. You shall not worship the Lord your God in that way, for every abomination to the Lord which he hates they have done to their gods. For they burn even their sons and daughters in the fire to their gods. Whatever I command you, be careful to observe it. You shall not add to it, nor take away from it. We are supposed to be holy and set-apart people, and we are told not to conform to the world. Tattoos are pagan and worldly, and the Bible tells us not to put them on our body. I hope you understand that I'm saying this in love. I'm not condemning anyone or judging anyone for having tattoos. As I said earlier, I have a tattoo. However, if you are like me and you want to live a set-apart life, then I encourage you not to get any more tattoos. Honor God with your body. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, then share it with your friends and family so they can unlearn the lies with us. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel. And I want to say a special thank you to those who support this ministry. We truly appreciate your prayers and your generosity. 
Thank you so much. And remember, the truth will set you free. We'll see you next time.